forward to the money. And that money will roll. And you are not connected with your, your local, local blood. blood. Today we stopped through endless opportunities eight and got this new giveaway and I have your co-founders. I'm Tamel Hill. Hey, I feel like I should be like, hey, money or something. Hey, money and babies, we got one. Right. Well, we, we nicknamed, well, y'all heard y'all already got a nickname. So, the Obamas. Oh, no. The Obamas is here. <laughs> For Mr. and Mrs. Endless Opportunities. I don't need none of that pressure. Right? I know that's right. But no, thank y'all for you know, putting us on your own with us. Thank you. So, tell us what you could have got today if you would have came to the back of school event. Um, so today was our eighth annual back to school celebration. So um, young men were able to get haircuts, and ladies were able to get styles, preschool supplies, um, a ton of activities. Um, but most importantly, it's just about uh, putting our arms around young people when it comes around education um, for people that look like them. So it's our eighth year, and uh, it's kind of mind blowing to say that it's the you know, eighth year. But, um, yeah. And then just for the students who get connected with mentorship if they need it. Um, we also had a tutoring um, service here. So if you want to get tutoring, they can be signed up. As well as um, the Kappa League and the Alpha S Y S came through. Yeah, so some, some of the frat life, you know what I mean? Make sure that our students get an introduction to that. Oh, yeah. So we wanted to ask, like, for, for me especially, I have a younger brother and just educating him on the opportunities it was something that he's never been exposed to so he's like he has some reluctancy in getting involved in it. and i also think it comes from them not knowing that it is people who look like them that's actually running the program do you guys experience that like with i'd say middle school to high school students that reluctancy just getting them involved absolutely i just actually have one of my students she's been with us for four years now she sent a text message saying um you know, I used to think that it was real corny to have a mentor, but I'm so thankful for y'all. Um, because that's the different things that we exposed them to. It was something that I didn't have growing up. So when I made it to college, I feel like um, my sorority sisters would have that step ahead of me because they had the different resources and outlooks that, yeah, that I just wasn't connected to. And I think, you know what I mean, all of us got mentors when we good or bad, you know what I'm saying? So Whether we realize come, it or not. Yeah, right. A lot of our shorties come up in environment where some people are trying to show them uh, some not so good things to do. Um, but I think like you said, it's just letting them know that it's some people that look like them that got similar uh, you know, walks of life, um, a background that, you know, they can speak to some of the things, whether it's the streets or, uh, you know, uh, some family issues. You know, we all got, whether it's daddy, mommy, cousin issues, you know what I mean, uh, early death, whether you're losing people to, to the grave or the system. But, um, yeah, when it comes to young dudes, man, if they mama forcing them to do it, they're not really, you know, uh, right. boring. And that's pretty much how it's I try to present it to him. Like, I don't want to make him do it or feel like he has to do it. Yeah. I want him to make the decision on his own. But it's like, especially you young men, you yeah, gotta, you do. And, and you got to force him to continue to go to different spaces. Like, for me, the best thing that I've experienced is, like, um, the comfort, being comfortable while being uncomfortable. Uh, as soon as young dudes, you know, get to work through that, because whether you at a, a, a professional dinner, you got a table for the white folks, uh, the young boys need to be comfortable in their own skin. But being okay with the, the unknown and knowing that it's going to be okay on the other side. Of it. Uh, so I just think you got to keep challenging them and pushing them out there. Uh, but what you don't want to do is, you know, give them an out. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you start something, you should finish it. A lot of times, moms or women just being uh, nurturers, uh, they don't want their son mad at them or they feel like they're mad or whatnot. But my, my rule of thumb is like, if you know it's what's best for them, uh, sometimes these young dudes need to do what they don't want to do, especially if you know it's, it's the best thing. And then also just keep reiterating, like, this is here for you to make you better. Like, we went through certain things in life because we didn't have nobody guiding us. So, with the proper guidance, you could now repeat same mistakes and you can be a lot further than where I'm at like you know that's exactly right yeah, absolutely. and that's pretty much like how this all came into fruition like we know there's a lot of things that we don't know as far as our expertise and our experience and just getting started 
on even doing this podcast was so unfamiliar for us because we didn't want to do it. We wanted to have everything together. But it's like you expose yourself to people who have done things, who have already done it before you. They can kind of educate you on what you need to do, what steps you need to take. And that's how we're, that's what we're all about. Just I don't, not necessarily having a shortcut, but just knowing what we're getting ourselves it's into. It's not, it's not necessary to reinvent the wheel. If there's people who did it before you, you like those resources. Because why start over at zero every single time? I feel like it's a lot of old kids that don't be trying to give out free games. Like, I mean, some of these old kids ain't got games to give, to be honest. How can you be here for so long and not have nothing to give? Like, well, some people something. like to just play their cards tight, you know. But a lot of times, those aren't the people that you actually want to take guidance from either because we're not trying to train up the next generation to be selfish. Like, you know? So it's just finding the proper mentorship. And then also, like, to your point about the podcast, like, Comfortable growth, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't know everything to expect, and some stuff is going to catch you off guard. Right, right. And we'll learn as we go. Yeah, yeah. the most right. important thing is persistence, you know what I'm saying? As so long as you get back out there and keep jumping on camera, whether your first video get a thousand views or take ten videos to get a thousand views, the content is what's most important. Right. And, you know, and the impact of it all. Right. You know? What do y'all feel like y'all think is success? With endless opportunities, what has come out of it in the business to make it successful? For me, those type of text messages, like, you know, like just talking to our girls, like telling us like how the program has helped them and different connections that they have made, um, resources we've connected them to. Like it's just different things like that to see them like breaking out of their shells, coming out, speaking in public. Um, just building relationships. A lot of times girls have this thing, well, I don't like girls and I don't want to talk. I don't want to make no new friends. And, and it's not about that. Like, you know, we all, we need to empower one another. And so that's what it's all about. So like just seeing those transformations, like mean the world from you. That was the conversation before we, when we first got here is not being friendly. I'm not a friendly person. That may not be something I want to get involved with. And I don't think, I mean, like you said, you have to realize that it's an opportunity for you. Right. You know, so you have to take advantage of advantage of it on that basis, not just talking. To you. So I don't know how do y'all break that barrier with girls who are like into social and don't they're not outgoing. Yeah, guys do. So we do a lot of different workshops, and we make you have to step out your comfort zone. Yeah, like you have to um, go out and talk to like sit with people who. That you're not, yeah, that's not your normal. Like, you know, go um, introduce yourself to this person and go who can collect the most business cards at this event. Um, just breaking them out those shells and just showing them, like, you know, like, for one, there's power in numbers. So anything that you want to get done, like, you need people. So um, just, like, just exposing them to just the different things and showing them the impact of that, of having people on your side. That sounds good. They want to sign their kids. Oh man, just program. shoot us an email at uh, inspired, I-N-S-P-I-R-E-D, and then it's opportunities.org, uh, and then we can take the inquiry from there, set up a one on one for an application. Uh, but to go back to your question about the greatest, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but see, I'll yeah, put the bookmark right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah. But for me, like, just seeing um, you know, my young boys uh, just progressing to manhood. We had some shorties that started off in our first mentor and co work, uh, come back this summer and they work with the younger shorties. So, like, they understand the investment of their time and they, uh, they resource it to the next group. And for us, that's what it's about. So, if one of us grab another shorty, then we grab another shorty, uh, we're going to be all right. So, the ones who get it, they practice with you know, the, the uh, skills and things that we taught them. Uh, then, one of them was actually here today cutting hair. So that was cool too. To have him come back and get his time right here. And she has to know who's just some fresh hair. I think that's about it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, guys. We can go on and on. And we're going to need y'all at the edit for dinner too. Right. Yeah, that would be a nice experience because I've never done one, nothing like that. So, yeah. Well, we're going to teach you how to use the right cup <laughs> and uh, fork and all that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, it was fun. nice talking with and it's opportunities. Our last you connection. Yes. We've been plugged. Plug. <laughs> we've been plugged. That's right. Plugged. <laughs>